a new challenger! Now today we've got a really special challenge video. We're going to take on classic games master Nintendo 64, Mario 64, Slide Challenge. Now if you aren't aware of this, this was a really controversial moment in gaming history. It was really big on British TV. So each week the Games Master would give new challenges for contestants to face. And this for me is one of the most memorable. So now let's hear from the Games Master what this challenge entails. And what a better way to finish than having a final playoff between the two leaders on the first snow level of Mario 64. The two co-commentators must race to the bottom of the perilous ice slide in the fastest time possible, while trying desperately not to skid off to oblivion. Good luck. I reckon we've got this, guys. Let's get it. Okay, let's get this. Let's run. We've got to go as fast as possible. So I need some forward thrust. Right, I'm gonna to have to watch these corners. Let's try to try to stay on the inside, but I don't want to, I don't want to get flung off. Let's put a little leap in here. So we'll try to focus on the corners. Try to keep them tight, but keep the acceleration going. Now, don't matter about the coins. Let's watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. That could have been us almost off. Put a little leap in here. Kind of like in this corner. God, it's much more slippery than I remember. It's been a while since I've played on the joystick. Hammer, 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 hammer. Come on, we're almost home, boys. We're almost home. Go, 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 go. Haha, <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that as a time. I think I did pretty well. Now let's check out how the contestants on the show fared up against my slide run. The challenge then is if I can get to the bottom of the Cool Cool Mountain course in the quickest time, we'll walk away with our special Christmas quiz joystick. If both competitors fall off, then whoever has managed to stay the longest on the course will win. Best of luck, guys. Off you go, Kirk. Okay, and off you go. Right, so he's off. Let's see, he's, uh, let's see how he compares to my playthrough. How's he going to play the corners? Keeping up pace. How come we didn't and quite jump in there? I don't know if that actually slows it down or speeds it up. Oh, it's a little Dominic. bit dodgy. He's oh, no! He has lasted for 20 seconds. 20.653 precise. Oh. Please make way for Dave. Man, that was shocking. Right now, here's Dave. This is one of the best gamers in Britain at the time. Come on, Dave. Have him, have him. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on, floor it. Come on, you just got to survive. you just got to stay on the track. You've got this, man. You've got this. No, 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 no. Come speed up, speed up, speed up. Oh, man. Oh, he's going to regret that one. That is an absolute shocker. I just can't believe it. Okay, guys, uh, let's start with you, Kirk. Congratulations, first of all. Interesting way you handled this quiz. Kirk, abysmal at the start from zero to hero at the end. I didn't even think that time was a very good time. No, it was a rotten time, let's be honest. Now, on to you, Dave. Um, now, you have, as you said, on the show, you are the greatest games player in Britain. What happened? What went wrong? Well, I think I've been set up fairly badly here today. Right. And in particular, what reason? I think having a final game where one player owns the game in the machine and one player doesn't isn't in the interests of fair play. Uh-huh. Okay then, so uh, what you're saying, Dave, is the biggest game of this year. You haven't played much. It's not released till next year. I'll play right. it next year when it's released in this okay. country. Okay, you are a journalist. We can get it on import. Not a journalist. I'm a marketing manager. Right, okay then. And you don't have a book coming out about, you know, games or anything like that? No? About, about beat em up. About beat em up games. So we're not seeing sour grapes at all here, Dave, is what you're trying to say. No, we're not. We're seeing somebody just saying he's been set up. Now it's it, it's quite big because we have to remember like back then the game like hadn't been released in all territories so not only I think was the Nintendo 64 very new to a lot of people and we all know how hard that controller is to get on with but a lot of people hadn't played the game and to jump in on Mario 64 having not played it before would be really really difficult so I can kind of understand this feeling a little bit stitched up 
the fact that it's it's something that most people wouldn't have played yet at this point and the fact that one contestant actually owned the game and had probably played it through quite a lot facing them up against someone else that hasn't seen the game before at all seems really really unfair what do you guys think was this like out of proportion was this out of character was this kickoff called for massive great great games master challenge it's always one that's going to stick in my mind as a real real special moment what do you guys think let me know down in the comments did you enjoy this video well let me know hit that thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button guys because we're going to be back with lots more retro gaming challenges and all good things nintendo and sega now for me it's a yes mate Yes, mate.